Well, this video is in, re in response to some uh, cooler weather that's hitting the, the Hawaiian Islands. That cool weather, including snow on Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, and also rain and clouds that are uh, happening for days at a time. So you're getting no solar energy input to your hot water system. So what we're, and then the, what the resulting is, is, is if the element the auxiliary backup element in the, in the solar tank, which is located here, is not working properly. We're not heating the water, you have no hot water. So we're gonna discuss that real quick. And basically, the system is normally in Hawaii is heated by the sun. Well, if the sun's not there, no hot water. So what we have is we have an access cover that, that is, and, and Read the oh, use and care manual before you go into this. There's 240 volts in here. So what happens is when the solar, a lot of people have this turned off. So the main thing, one of the main issues we have is that the breaker the, at the main service panel is turned off. So you have to check the main breaker to make sure it's, it's on. That might be all it takes is turning on the 240 volt breaker that supplies power to this and you have hot water in about uh, 45 minutes. Uh, the other thing that uh, could be uh, preventing this from working is you have a time clock. It's a very small box, about this wide and this tall, it's gray. A lot of them are called a little gray box. And those time clocks are off. Um, there's, a, there's an exterior switch on it. I'm sorry we don't have one here. It's a little gray box, little gray box by Intermatic. You turn it, you would have to turn it on. The other, it's a time clock, which means it's a clock, which means the time could be set wrong because of power outages. Um, review the manual for the Intermatic little gray box to learn how to change the time correctly. Reset it. That could be off, and, and that's like a switch, a light switch. It's like having two light switches. You have the main breaker that needs to be on, at the main service panel, you know where that is. If you don't, you may need a technician out there or electrician. And then the little gray box is usually on the wall next to this solar tank. And it's, it's off. So you have to, the, the main the two things are the main breaker's on, the little gray box is on, and then that means that there's power to this element thermostat, which now I'm going to pull this off. That's a safety cover. This is the thermostat, and I'm doing this, there's no power here, this is, <laughs> so don't do this without having the power off. This is the thermostat, this is the element. This is what heats the water, and this is what controls the heat. There's a dial here that allows you to set it for a certain temperature, usually it's at 130. So now, we're, the assumption is that there's power here. So you open this up, There's there's no, we've turned the power off, and the one thing in here that you could possibly fix is a reset button, and it's a little red button right there. You push it, it should click, and that could be the, the item that allows you to have hot water. Um, that's a very common issue, is that button, but you push it with the power off. You've gone back to the main breaker and turned it off. You come in here and push that, then you turn the breaker back on, and then you should you should hear the um, you can, some people can hear the element sizzle a little bit, and within 45 minutes you'll have hot water. So that's if you if you don't want to touch this, then call a technician out um, to make sure that this part of your this is the second half of heating the tank when there's no sun like we're experiencing now. Cold, cold weather and no sun is causing people to run out of hot water. The other thing is, when, when you're using on electricity, uh, you, may, it may, you may have to stagger shower use or hot water use because this will only provide about this much hot water. So you have to use it and then wait. That's the other option. The other thing is obviously when you're using this, it's, if this is electricity, your, your electric bill will go up. So I hope that helps. If you have any um, questions on this, please go to sunearthinc.com's website. The system, the general system, if you're interested, is called a sun saver. And we have a manual 
online for that system that may help you. But this is separate, just and another thing, this is separate from the controller, whether it's the Sun Earth Digital Controller or the GL30 that's common. So it's separate, they're not interconnected. Um, that this controller or the GL30 does not affect this. What affects this is the breaker, the main servant, the main power breaker, a little gray box time clock that's there, or the thermostat um, reset button generally. Beyond that, it could be the thermostat and or the element are not working, which requires the technician to come out and, and change that for you. So I hope that helps. Again, go on what sunearthinc.com. You can always uh, you know, send us an, in, an inquiry through our website if you have any further questions. Thank you.